Okay guys, welcome to my Let's Play episode, whatever episode we're on, because I still don't remember. So I'll title it here in post-production, but for now we'll just go with Let's Play. Um, figured I'd do something a little bit different this time. I'm actually on the last three uh, matches for the Goblin mission, so I think I'm going to go through in this episode, just attack these three uh, maps, I guess, campaign maps if you want to call them that. I tailored this army for um, Mega Towers, whatever it's called, Me Mega Mansion, Mega Mansion. So we'll see how it works out. I have two balloons, wizards, giants, archers, barbarians. You'll see how I use them later. And then the clan castle is my wild card with wizards and archers, and obviously my kings up. And I have some spells here in my spell factory. So. Pretty much we're just going to jump right into this. This is just my fun series. I can ramble and talk and do whatever I want. So here we go. This one looked pretty tough looking at it, but I think, I think I should be able to do it. So I have my balloons to hopefully, hopefully take out this archer tower. I think two balloons ought to be enough. And we'll let them do that. Oh, yeah, that'll be plenty. I think one would, one would have been enough. But oh, well. There are those guys. There's that done. And I'm just kind of taking this in sections, because the way it's set up is you really can take out all these... Uh, oh, look, they even got a mortar. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't calculate that. Anyway, that actually is very helpful. You can kind of take it in sections, because everything's all spread out, except these defenses that are all really bunched up together. So I'm just going to drop my heal spells and giants in there, and hopefully they take them out. Um, but for these guys... Uh, barbarian meat shields and a wizard with some archers should be able to do the trick here. So, drop my wizard. Oh, no, not the... Oh, crap. That's... No. Oh, okay. Let's hope I can salvage this, because that's not the troop I wanted. I thought I was on archers. Now I'm down five giants for the next part. Oh, crap. At least it wasn't any more than five. Okay. Well, that wizard tower went down no problem. Um, Let's see where these giants go and see if I can reuse them. Okay, so they're going to go in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, change of plans. We're going in from the left with everything I got. So hopefully this works out. We're just going to go giants in from the left. And we're going to open it up with some wall breakers. We're going to put my king in right behind. We're going to put clan castle troops in right behind. And all of my archers. Let's hope. Yeah, okay, I think we got this. We'll put a heal spell down in there. And then we got another heal spell. Oh, we got this. Okay, that was not near as disastrous as I thought it might be. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got this. I don't even think I'll need a second heal spell. My king's taken out the town hall, so we definitely got the two-star. So we'll definitely be able to move on to the next one. But uh, my goal is to three-star all the bases and, you know, get the uh, the achievement and whatnot. So uh, we might as well put these guys in here. Help speed it up. Ten more archers to take out the archer tower. And... There we go. Last defense down. And I have all my clan castle wizards still up. So that that wasn't not near as disastrous as I thought it might be. But there we go. 100% Mega Mansion. Copy the setup if you want. Don't waste your giants. But um, yeah, I was actually really happy with you know getting up here in the uh, campaign matches because of how much loot you get from them. Because I started the day here with... Um, I think it was like 160,000 gold or something. I went on to be able to start a archer tower, which was worth 2.5 million, and I'm already up to almost a million gold. And a whole, you know, day, and I haven't even really had a lot of time to raid today. I I was at work, and I was at uh, a whole bunch of different stuff today. So I once you get up there in the goblin matches, they actually are worth quite a bit. I don't have any wizards. Um, so slug through those 4,000 gold, 4,000 elixir matches down below, beat them with a bunch of archers, and then get up to the rest of them and get the loot. So we'll move on to the second two when my troops cook. I'm not going to, you know, gem up troops or whatever for you guys, obviously. I don't have that many gems. So I will see you guys when we come back and take on the P.E.K.K.A.S. Playhouse. I know you can do it without P.E.K.K.A.S. I'm going to try to do it without P.E.K.K.A.S. But honestly, I have, I've never actually gotten this far jeez I might just I might just end up doing this with Pekka's I don't know I know I saw a tutorial once on how to do this 
I forget what they did. They took out one of the walls with an archer, and then they used a balloon to beat the rest of it or something. It was it was really weird, but um, I don't know. This one's not near as uh, whatever you want to call it. It's not near as like compact as the other one. You actually have it all spread out, so you can't just use a bunch of giants. Anyway, I'll come up with a strategy. Taylor and army. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys when I come back with that. Okay, welcome back. Here we have, um, Pekka's Playhouse. Um, hopefully this works. I did a dry run this morning with the spells to take out the air defenses. I don't, I'm not sure how many of you guys have actually seen Pekka's Playhouse if you gotten that far, so I'll show you in a second, but I have three lightning spells. I'll show you what I want to do with them, and I'm going to try to do it with giants and uh, wizards and one balloon, and you'll s I'll explain my strategy here as we go into it. So pretty much this is the this is the whole thing, and there's I already tested it. There's a Tesla right there between the uh, archer and wizard towers on the top and two next to the archer tower on the top. So I want to use the lightning spells to take out these two air defenses and my giants and wizards to take out the air capable defenses on the outside and then just one balloon to destroy the rest of it. However, in my dry run this morning, I wasn't able to get both of these air defenses. The one had just a tiny bit of health left and if that ends up happening again, then I'm going to have to use wall breakers and some of my giants to take care of this bottom air defense. So we might do it as exactly as I planned. It might take a little bit more, we'll see. But so we're just gonna get into it here and see what I can do. Okay, lightning spells are down right in the middle. Please take them both out. There we go. Okay. And it got both of the mortars too. Holy cats, those level five lightning spells are the bomb. Okay. So there's that. The rest of my strategy pretty much rests on dropping giants and wizards to take out the defenses so they're gonna just take up the damage soak up the damage and then my wizards are going to take out the defense that worked perfectly that's what I was hoping would happen and my wizards come in and take out the defenses just like I was hoping I actually have five extra giants and five extra wizards for each for all the defenses I'm actually gonna have to take care of so this hopefully works out pretty well for me so here we go more wizards um, uh oh uh oh giants are dying okay that did not work out quite as well as I was hoping um, that's okay because I do have extra troops so I did bring extra troops just for this reason because I was afraid that I might not quite be able to do it so I'm actually running out of wizards though so let's be a bit more careful here and drop some giants down drop some more wizards I actually have extra giants so we'll keep my wizards alive with the giants and okay so there's that I only have a few more few more defenses here um, how do I want to do this do I want to use all my giants and actually take out some of the defenses with my giants let's see okay um, I'm running through a lot more troops those Teslas are doing a lot more damage than I thought they would I do have some archers. Oh, and I have my clan castle. Right, right, right. I have my clan castle on my king yet, so I got this. Okay. Um, we're going to put all of the giants down right here and all of my wizards down right there. And let's see what they can do. I can use my clan castle and my archers yet along with... Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now there's that. Oh, and they even got one of the cannons. The wizard is not going to be able to take care of that. The giants will, though. So now, pretty much, all I have to do is drop my balloon down. Oh, I should have just dropped them up there. And then let them finish this up. I have my king and everything yet. Um, oh, look, that guy's still alive. Okay. BK time. It's time for the Burger King. Okay, so there's that. And now, pretty much, I just got to let my balloon go around and take out the rest of these defenses. So uh, I have some wizards up, so it shouldn't take too long here. Um... But yeah, that was pretty much my strategy, is take out all the air defenses and then use a balloon to finish it up. I wasn't expecting to have any ground troops left over, and I figured there would be some traps around, but I was also, ho that's why I brought, you know, clan castle troops and my archers, simply because I didn't want to be left with, you know, a dead balloon and nothing else, so 
King and the Balloon are going to finish it up here for us. And there you go, 100% on Pekka's Playhouse. I found that that actually worked really well. This is the first time I did it. Um, like I said, I did do a few dry runs and found out where the Teslas were and everything. So that's why I didn't get the full 700,000 uh, resources this time. But I did. I was able to do without Clan Castle and really... You wouldn't even need your king if you didn't if you wanted to use the clan castle instead. So if you guys want to copy that setup, it worked really well. Three lightning spells. Um, it, they will have to be level five though to take out the air defenses. Twenty giants, twenty wizards, five archers, five um, wall breakers, and a balloon. But if you do have the five with the level five lightning spells, you will not need the wall breakers because I only brought them if I needed to break through the wall and take out the last little bit of health on the air defense with my giants. So I'm going to cook up another army here for Sherbert Towers, and let's see, let's look at this one here. Okay, a lot more spread out, a lot more square. Um, I'm not sure how I want to take this one out yet. I might just end up using P.E.K.K.A.s for this one. I honestly, I don't know yet. I'll have to look at it. Cook up an army comp, and I'll be back with you guys and you can see me do that one. So I hope you found that interesting. The top three, top three matches here coming at you with Sherbert Towers here in a moment. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I hope that wait wasn't too long for you. But now we're back. We're going to take on Sherbert Towers. Uh, as you can see, my spells are finishing up. I'm going to go with two heals and a rage. As for the camp, I'm actually going to use P.E.K.K.A.s for this one. Um, four P.E.K.K.A.s and some Giants tacked as like a Golem, I guess, if you wanted to equate it to a Go Wipe or something like that. Um, and Wizards and just a few Archers for good measure, but I think we should be able to tear through this one pretty easy. Um, it's really going to depend on the, the, um, the Tesla, there we go. I couldn't think of what they were called, the Tesla placement. If they're inside the base and easy to get to, or if they're, you know... It just depends on where they're going to be placed and how easily the P.E.K.K.A.s can get to them. So, Sherbert Towers, I did do a little bit of a dry run to break open some walls here. Um, my plan is to break open this uh, section of walls on both sides and drop five giants and two P.E.K.K.A.s uh, right down the sides. And that should pretty much let us go through the whole base, I think. Um, got some heal spells and a rage spell so we can see what we can do. I have some wizards, um, archers, and what are they called minions in the clan castle and then obviously my BKs here as well so let's see what we can do here um, thinking there's gonna be some Teslas inside so we'll see how many Teslas actually end up showing up but there's that section and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side Uh oh oh boy okay well that changes things okay and we're just going to go in from one side, actually. So let's just drop all of my giants straight in here, followed by my P.E.K.K.A.s, and then followed by my wizards. I guess I'll just put some archers. Oop, these guys. Here we go. Archers up over here. Oh, there's lots of bombs outside. Well, there goes all my archers. Anyway. Okay, so there are all of the Tesla's. I figured there'd be Tesla's in there. So we'll just let these guys go to work. Where are all my P.E.K.K.A.s? Did they all go to the left, or where are they all? There's only two. That means there's got to be some other ones up here. There we go. There they are. Put my other heal spell here in the middle since they're take tanking the most damage. Um, come on, take out the Teslas. You're going to let all my P.E.K.K.A.s get killed. Okay, there we go. Now we're going somewhere. Okay, so we still got a pe Oh, there go all my giants. Uh-oh. Okay. Um... I'm not sure we're going to be able to get all of this here. Let's take out this side with some wizards. We'll put my clan castle and my barb king down in here. Okay, so we got 50%. We probably won't end up getting all the loot, but I still have a peck up, though. Depending on how my king and wizards end up doing on this side. I don't know. We might be able to do it. It might take a little bit, but... We still have quite a bit of troops left up. Oh, you stupid king. Don't go to the wall. Just go just go around. Well, you know what? We just have splash damage left. So I think we actually got this, guys. This actually worked out pretty well. Except for the fail up at the top. I think we we'll, should be able to do this. Because that P.E.K.K.A. is going to tank that splash damage. Except the <laughs> wizards walk right into the mortar damage. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, we got this. The mortar's going to take out my, all my wizards, but I have my P.E.K.K.A. And there we go. Last defense. That actually wasn't too bad for Sherbert Towers. I'm trying to use, you know, lower troops or whatever. Obviously, I use some P.E.K.K.A.s, but that actually went over pretty well. So, 800,000 gold, just under 800,000 elixir. Like I said, I did do the test with the wall breakers, and that, like, destroyed some of the elixir storage I guess so we actually did get up to 2.5 million gold so I'll be able to start my last uh, archer tower upgrade that means they're all going to level 10 or at or excuse me or are at level 10 I have my level 6 wizard towers to go and my level 5 and level 6 tassels to go but other than that everything else is done so there you have it guys oops I have successfully completed the goblin missions I just have two more two more that I need to get three stars on and then I'll be able to get the achievement um, what is that even worth 20 gems and a thousand XP points so it's really not all that impressive doesn't do that much for you come on why can't I click on that there we go anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed that something different uh, show you the way I beat the beat the last uh, three goblin matches so now I just need roaring uh, rolling to terror and kitchen sink which I just got two stars on because at that point I was just going for the loot and I got all the loot from it and I didn't really care about the third star so I can do that at a later time but yeah you guys I hope you like that and I guess I'll come back with something later some other episode of something I'm not sure yet so all the archer towers are started or done and finished up the campaign so hope you guys are having a good day and i'll see you later